Hello everyone and welcome um, back to our video series. This is the final episode, episode four. So don't forget to like, follow and subscribe and watch parts one, two and three of the, you know, what, why and how of video marketing. In this episode, myself, Claire and Anush will be just giving our summaries and thoughts and tips for you to kind of walk away based on the initial first three episodes that we've covered. And I'm going to quickly kick off with like, you know, if you've been listening to the series and there's different types of consumers that might listen to the podcast, and my advice is going to be to three different audiences very quickly. So if you're an individual, my advice to you would be take the advice that Anush and Claire and I have given, which is, you know, use your mobile phone, start playing with the organic channels, different channels and the formats you have from TikTok through to Instagram Reels stories, use your mobile phone or device, use some free tools. And if you're trying to get yourself out there as a personal brand, use your mobile phone as a part of you. Start with a little bit of a strategy in terms of how to create that video. Do some learnings. Ironically, look at some videos online of how to do video (laughs) content or listen to our series. If you're an organization, then the key thing I want you to take away is strategize and plan. Sometimes you have to run before you walk. Um, I know a few businesses have done that, but if you really want to maximize the potential of video, not just organically and pushing your brand, but engaging with the consumers, but also promoting your company out there to your ideal audiences, then have a clear strategy in place, understanding what do you want to do? What kind of authentic video content can you create? What channels will serve your audiences and your brand best? How can you stay on trends? And all that comes from having a clear strategy in place. So think, brainstorm, have a discussion, identify, as we've discussed, the magnitude of different types of video from, you know, TV, cinema, through to mobile, social media, user-generated, you know, influencer, you know, even just creating your own video on your own phone and posting it on your own LinkedIn is, you know, video marketing in some form of way. That's why a strategy is key because there's so much option and so much choice available to you that could work in so many ways for your organisation. Absolutely. I think from my point of view in terms of a key takeaway I'd want someone to you know think about after this is when you're thinking about social media to think about video I think you know 10 years ago there was probably a lot of companies thinking oh do I really need to be on social media I think you'd be hard pushed now to find an organization that isn't on social media in some way shape or form and, and that's where we're at with video now is there's the people that are doing it and there's the people that are still going oh do I really need video is it really going to be important for me but yes you do you know it, it is the future of marketing and actually those two integrate together so well so if you are now you've mastered social media and you're like yep yeah, this works so well for my company and my brand then what you really need to be doing is video as part of that and I think it's one of the easiest avenues to get started with when you think about video because social media it is so instant it's real time it's in the moment you know you can go live we've not really spoken about that yet a lot of what we've spoke about is kind of pre-planned video but you can literally just be doing anything and just go live and you're producing video content you know so just picking up your phone and getting started and that would work for anyone across all the different examples that you've you've given their money um, in terms of just starting to use video as part of your marketing strategy just to come in there quickly is it's like you just said there you know if you've been mastering the social media now then it's time to move on to video but also if you think social media is not working for me that's because you're using old tactics Mm. like image and elements and that's probably why it's not working because you haven't moved forward with the times and embraced video in all its forms yeah Mic mic drop. (laughs) (laughs) I think from all our tips and advices, you understood that you can get started always by your own. Not necessary to, from the very beginning, um, think of uh, for the production team to help you with your video marketing. You can do that by your own, by implement by creating a strategy by implementing using your smartphone creating a video content and sharing that online but at one point if you come up for that you need more production uh, more high quality production materials because there are some video types that you can't create by your own if you are not a video person i one thing i would suggest is uh think 
several times before choosing the right video agency to work with because some of them can just create a video for you, but you need also some agency who can give you right directions on how to implement that content because only the uh, production is not enough. You need to have the agency who can give you marketing directions, who know the trends, who knows how to start a video, how to end video, how to create that tricks, that engaging materials that can help you to promote your services especially if we are talking about ads, because um, ads need to be very dynamic, need to be very catchy. And some good video production companies know how to create them in that way so it can engage your audience. And one thing that I always um, tell, and I always, maybe it's a good question to a lot of people ask me is if there is a chance to create only one video, what video that could be. And maybe at the beginning, I can ask my colleagues to tell that and I can tell my opinion about that. So if you had a chance to create just one video, what that would be? I don't know if you want to go first in this one, Claire. That's, that's a <laughs> great question. Um, I think for me, you know, if you can only do one, then obviously it's one of those where you want to cram everything in and use it as an opportunity to tell people more about your business. So something that did that, that acted as an advert for our business that we could use anywhere that was timeless and that said, this is exactly what we want to do. But, you know, in uh, 60 seconds, it go from this is who we are, this is why you should work with us and then a call to action in terms of getting people to then get in touch? I think for us, I, I'd create a video for our website on some of the key, and, it, and it, it's only because it's come to my mind is because I've been thinking of doing that more recently is, you know, we get a lot of people go to a website requesting a free digital marketing um, strategy, but what does that really include other than the bit of information we have on our site? I think if we visualise that in terms of how we as an agency work, in terms of what's included in the strategy, how we then implement that and the results you can expect to see and show that whole journey, which will maybe help, you know, any potential consumer or customer organization looking for a digital marketing, you know, media agency to help them. Well, this is what we do. This is how we differentiate ourselves. And this is how we, you know, guide you through that whole journey. I think that would, you know, help explain it because I talked a lot about stats in terms of, on, we talked about a lot of stats on on page and, you know, post um, video, in you know, a purchase um, stats as well. So taking that into consideration, I'd probably do like a, a video that explains our journey to get people from strategy to media execution. Actually, your answer shows that you are very good digital marketers because I will say that they are a combination of both things that you said. It's an explainer video and it has the very good structure that you should include. It starts with the problem that your customers are facing. You should always mention in the very beginning the problem that they are facing and you as a company as a solution for that problem. So it's not only, may, I may say about who you are, but most likely how you can help and get, how you can give benefits to your clients. And that's exactly the video type that ha can help you in the very beginning. If you don't have any choice, create explainer videos and that explainer videos can have the structure, problem, solution, tell about all the advantages you, that you can give and the competitors can't and give that call to action to contact you. And you can share this video on your website. You can share online. You can share in YouTube, social media channels. You can boost that video. Concerning the duration of that video, I would likely suggest you to go from 40 seconds to 60, but not more at all. And if you can do even less, that's even better. And yes, always put that on your homepage because people, whoever enters your website, they need to have a chance to have easier version to know about you. I think that's a great way to end with a task to our listeners. If you could only create one video what video would you create? And what we'd like you to do then is, you know, comment on um, our YouTube page uh, where this video will be posted, comment on our social platforms, Bobble, at Bobble Digital, at Trio Media, at Burn We, using the hashtag BobblePod. 
and let us know if you were to create one video, what would that be? We'd like to know your thoughts and understand how you've liked it, reviewed um, our series. I think that really nicely summarizes the whole podcast series for video so far. We've got a number of other series coming up. Um, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. We are on YouTube, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple, we're on the all major streaming platforms. We'd love to hear your feedback on our first initial series we've done so far. And from myself, Manny, I'd like to say thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you on our next podcast series, which will launch in December and January. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.